everyone, my name is Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, I am a reseller. I have been selling for 16 years and today I have a Thread Up Rescue Box. I had one just about a week ago and it turned out so great that I ordered two more boxes. I ordered a men's box and another shoe box and from the fill of this, it's pretty heavy. I think this is probably the um, men's clothing. It is from Phoenix, Arizona, and that's the same place that the last one was from. So I have not opened it up yet. I ordered it on Thursday and it arrived on Monday. So I am really impressed with how fast they have all arrived. So we will get started. And what I will plan to do is I will unbox these and then I will research all of the brands and I will pop up how much I will list them for, how much I will accept an offer for, so the minimum price that I will accept. And then at the end, I will be able to give you a total of what I think the value of this box is, how much I profit, I will time myself as I prep them, photograph them, list them, and let you know about how much per hour I am working for when listing this box. And I will either have my listing out to the side or I will put um, comps up to the side. So let's get started. Okay, the last one was so good. I was so happy with it that I'm almost afraid that this one's going to not be good because the last one was so good, but we will see. And in the end, I know that I'm going to stand up here. I know that it's taking a chance and if I just get my money back, that is great. Okay, let's see, here's the invoice. Okay, this is the shoe rescue box and it was um, $90 plus they charge tax. So I believe it was $94.84. And let's see. Oh, these are pretty. I don't know what this is, but the name looks fancy. I will put it up here. I don't even know how to say it. It is a size eight and a half. The last box was a lot of eights and eight and a half. It looks like Louise. I don't know, but really pretty. Wow, I really like these. So I'm hoping that is worth some money. I only see one of them though, so hopefully the other one's in there. Then, uh, Anne Klein. So I know for women's clothing, the Anne Klein is kind of a slow mover for me. So we will see on that one. Oh, these are really mixed up. I'm only finding one of each. Ooh, what is this? This is... Yay! I just couldn't see. Huh! Cute! Oh my gosh! I should have recognized on the back. Oh, yay! And here's the other one. Yay! <laughs> that, the Tory Burch that I got in my last box, they both sold within like two or three days. And one of them was to a viewer, so thank you very much. And let's see where the size is on this. Um, I'm going to have to research it. In the last box, I noticed every pair, no matter what size it was, I was like, ooh, I think this will fit me, and none of them fit me. <laughs> okay, these are, what are these? Crevo. I don't know this brand either, but they seem like a nice leather. It says, ooh, yes, leather, they're the Sadie Leather Boot Beige Leather Upper Resin Sole. Um, USA size eight, <laughs> size eight is the size for rescue boxes. Then, let's see, I recognize this logo. Let's see, um, genuine leather, man-made upper. I can't see what it is. Oh, Timberland, Timberland is a great brand. Okay, so that is good. These shoes are going to be all over the place. Another Tory Burch, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Wow, look at that print, that is cute. Okay, well, two Tory Burch, that should pretty much get my money back. Oh my gosh, wow. An egg, and 
my daughters have had this style. Um, I can't remember, is it Bailey Bow? That could be completely wrong. I will pop it up. And these look pretty good. I find them at the bins all the time and they're so warm, but those look great. Okay, yay. Oh, these are cute. Oh, Sanook. Ah, they're fabric on the front and just really cute, nice condition. I guess this wraps around the ankle. I love that. Ooh, I would like to keep that one. And then here's the other one of the shoe. Then, let's see, what is this? Hmm, oh, Lucky Brand. Lucky Brand does pretty good with boots, so I think that one will do good. The size, oh, a size 10 slash 40, so I think that's a good size. Ooh, what is this? Aldo, and that feels like um, calf hair. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Genuine leather, wow. Oh, the bottoms look excellent. I think this is another great box. Oh my gosh. I love these shoe boxes. What is this? Okay. Oh, I think that says Michelle D. I think that's a Dillard's brand. I've got dresses. It's They're leather and they're a little dented. So I'm not quite sure about that one. <laughs> then, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Sam Edelman. So cute. And let's see, the other one is in there too. Thank goodness. Wow. This is really great. It's a size seven and a half. And then this is the other Timberland. Great. Then this one is the, hmm, Report. I don't know that brand. Let's see. It is a size eight and a half. <laughs> Again, I guess I, I probably don't even have to look anymore. If I'm not sure, it's probably an eight or an eight and a half. And the other one, these are really cute. And there are a couple scratches on the back, so that will impact the amount a little bit. What are these? They are really small. Jeep Engineer Traction Sole. Hmm. They are very squished, but those are cute, but really small. It has J41. Hmm, adventure on. So, oh, trail ready. I wonder if these are some kind of trail hiking shoes. And then the other, oh wait, did I get this one for you? Yes, and Klein. So, I have two of them. <laughs> and then some Nikes. Nikes are usually good. Let's see. Nike. Um, Free RN. So is that free run? Free RN. So I'll have to look these up. I'll definitely use Google Lens to take a picture of them to find out exactly what model they are. And so I'm really happy. I think this is a great box. I will have the totals for you. We'll jump forward a little bit in time and I will have everything clean, listed, and the numbers that I think that I will make on this box. Here are the shoes. Before I do anything to them, I just put them all out on my counter so that I can prep them all at once. I'm going to go ahead and go through the process and show you how long it takes me to do each thing. It took me 15 minutes and 43 seconds to prep all the shoes. I just go through and I use saddle soap on most of the things that are leather or have a fabric that it's okay to just kind of clean them with a little bit of soap and I just use a mildly damp sock to wipe them clean. I go over the bottoms. If I see any issues with anything, then I try to take care of it. Usually I'll have a toothpick to try to get the grooves of the shoes and I just go through and make sure everything looks nice. Sometimes I will stuff the shoes with paper towels or air jackets or tissue paper or different things like that to try to give them some shape. 
If you notice the little water hiking shoes looked so just squished and after I stuffed them full of some tissue paper or something, they looked excellent. So a little bit of time invested goes a long way. Now I do pay attention and make sure that something that is only going to make $10, I do not spend 30 minutes prepping it. Then I just showed the bear grease. I will put a light layer of that on some of my leather items just to condition it and make them look really nice. It's a good idea to spot treat it first to make sure that it doesn't harm anything. And then technically you're supposed to leave it in a warm area for 24 hours and then buff it out. I don't always wait that long. I just let it sit for as long as it takes me to clean the other shoes and then buff it. And it usually has very nice results. I also tiny shoelaces, buckle buckles, zip zippers. I just make them photograph ready so that when I start to photograph, all I have to do is take the pictures. I don't have to make any changes to any of the items. One other thing that I use a lot that I didn't note was a magic eraser. A lot of times on the base of white tennis shoes, the, that works really well for me. I have also noticed that the shoes that come in the thread up rescue boxes are really pretty nice and they require very little prep work. This took 15 minutes and 43 seconds and the last box was right around the same amount of time. And there the shoes are, all nice and clean and ready to take photos. Then I just take pictures of the shoes right there on my kitchen counter. It's a pretty well lit area. I have a lot of natural sunlight coming in, so it works well. I get every angle of the shoes possible, including the bottoms. I try to put the size, the brand, anything that I can photograph to give the people a visual representation of the shoes, I do. I've noticed that people don't read the listing descriptions very much. They really count on the photographs for information. Next, I use the app Photo Room, which I will have linked in the description below to remove the background from the photographs and give them just a nice, clean, professional white background. And if you notice, there was a blue circle with a white plus in the middle at the top. You just push that button and it will pull up your camera roll. Then if you go to the top, you'll see it says multiple. If you select multiple, you can select all of the pictures that you want to remove the background at once in bulk rather than doing them one at a time. And it is so fast. I'm doing this in real time so you can see exactly how long it takes me. I believe I selected 52 photos to remove the background from. Sometimes if it is a pair of shoes that I think I'm going to make a lot of money on, I will go ahead and remove the background from all of the photos other than like maybe the size or the brand, the ones that don't need the backgrounds removed. Of course I don't, but sometimes it's worth that little bit of time investment. Now, as you see, it starts taking the background out and I click classic because that is a white background. Then up at the top, see how it says one out of 52, two out of 52, I just tap that and it goes to the next one and it removes the background that fast. This is real time. This is actually how fast it does it. I'm so impressed with it. Then every once in a while, you'll see a picture and it'll have, it's off just a little bit. You can select to have it cut out and you can kind of define the boundaries manually if you choose to do that, but I found that takes a little extra time and that is why I select maybe two or three photos that I'm going to remove the background that might work as the cover shot that way one or two of them is definitely going to turn out okay and I don't have to spend the time with cutting it out manually. There is a free version of this app, which it will leave a little watermark in the bottom corner, which says photo room. And so that I used for a long time, but recently I decided to go ahead and do the paid version to not have the watermark. And I think it also gives that multiple quantity option. Then you just select to have it saved to your camera roll. And there they are in my camera roll, ready to go. And that took 45 minutes and 45 seconds to take the pictures and remove the background. 
Then I normally start with Google Lens, and I have a video on how to use that step-by-step -step if you're interested. And I prefer starting there because it gives me information from a variety of different sources. It can find listings on Poshmark or eBay, also department stores. So I get more of an overview of what's out there and a variety of different resources to pull information from. I also like that I get a lot of keywords that describe that pair of shoes. Even if it's not my exact shoes, it can tell me a lot about the pair that I have. I found one that looks exactly like mine, so I went into that listing and looked at what they had. I look at their pictures, how they describe it, and just get a lot more information. Next, I go to Poshmark, put in the brand name and the style name, change the filter so it looks at every size. I see there's one listing for $40. I see there's also one sold listing for $40. I also notice that there is nothing listed in the size that I have, and I think Probably I can get $40 for these. I'm going to list mine for $45, but I will accept down to $30. So when I'm figuring out my numbers, that's my bottom number is $30. Then I create a draft from that sold listing and I quickly select the photos that I have for those shoes and put them into the listing right then. Then I just upload the photos, and then since I did sell similar of a previous listing that was very similar to mine, it is so nice that a lot of the information is already pre-filled. So I just look what they had for the title, and I make any changes that I see necessary. And then after I do that, I go down to the description, and sometimes if it's short, I will just put a little bit of information there or I will skip it and do that later on my laptop. I go through to the different details and add or change anything that I need to there. And then on this one, what I decided to do was save as a draft. So up in the top left-hand corner, you select cancel. Then it asks you if you would like to save it as a draft. You save it as a draft. Then I go to my laptop. I just put a few more words in the description area. Often I just copy the title and put it in the description. And then at the bottom say something like, I package carefully and ship daily. I add in my SKU number so that I will know where to find it and my cost of goods where the buyer can't see it, but that information will be provided for me. And then I am finished. The listing is ready to go. And that took me one hour and 28 minutes to do the researching drafts and actually listing. I broke that process up into two timings. The drafts and research and uploading of photos took one hour and three minutes. And then finalizing the drafts and sending them out live took 24 minutes and 50 seconds. So the total amount of time for that portion was one hour and 28 minutes. In total, it took me about three and a half hours. And that also accounts for an hour of shipping time because that is part of it. It takes time to ship. And so I figured that is about 15 minutes per pair of shoes. Then if I look at how much I have them listed for, they are listed for a total amount of $647, but I will accept as low as $450. Then the maximum amount of fees that could be taken out is $90. If I give a shipping discount on every pair, that's $34.44. Then I have to take out the cost of goods. And in the end, I should profit at the very least $230.70. If you divide that $230.72 profit by three and a half hours, that ends up being $65.92 an hour, which I think is excellent. I am so pleased with these boxes. This second shoe rescue box turned out slightly better than the first one. So 
I am thrilled. Thank you so much. If you are still watching, if you want me to do another thread up shoe box, let me know. I don't want to overwhelm you with too many shoe boxes, but I really like them and I will most likely order another. So if you want me to make another video on the next one, just let me know and I will gladly do so. Thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.